What's up guys, it's Wasabi and I'm back with another review. Pulsar sent me this super new Super Glide V2 glass mousepad to share with you. Thank you Pulsar. But as always with the content on this channel, these are my thoughts, personal opinions and experiences with the product. Anyway, here's a quick look at the packaging because that's what you pay for too. You get a Super Glide sticker, a set of dot skates for glass pad use, a quick start guide and then you got the glass pad itself. And before we go any further, let's manage some expectations here real quick. Pulsar is a Korean brand that has been doing glass pads for quite some time now and with so many glass pads popping up in the market, from a gamer's perspective, this one's got my interest. This is the latest version of their glass pad and it's called the Super Glide V2. The one that I have is in an extra large size and it's available for a price of about $95. The design is great, it's very clean on the top and the base as well. This is in the styling in the red colorway that you would have seen on the previous version of the Super Glide glass pad and their Super Glide skate. This is a very nice red and also because the glass layer is much thinner than other glass pads, the design print is nice and sharp. On thicker pads, you'll notice that the graphics look almost sort of blurry, so this looks really good. And also just to share, they use a styling that is very similar to Supreme and Off-White if you're familiar with fashion. So this one that I have is in the extra large size and it measures 490 by 420 with a thickness, actually thinness would be a better word. This has a thinness of 1.5 millimeters which is crazy thin for a glass mouse pad. The first thing that most people feel about the thinness is that the glass pad is gonna break and that is understanding. However, I don't think they would want to launch this pad if that was the case because it's way more trouble for after sales service which any brand would want to avoid. When I found out about the thinness, it got me very interested because it's not something you would expect from any brand to do with a material such as glass. I like that they are taking things further with the material which to me is very brave but impressive because it's something different from what's already offered on the market. Also, you may have noticed that this is very light and it makes my other glass pads feel ridiculously heavy. There are a total of 5 layers to the Super Glide V2 glass pad, a textured finished surface, aluminosilicate glass better known as Gorilla Glass for durability, then you got a print layer which also acts as a layer for shadow proofing, another shadow proof layer under that, and the molded high density silicone rubber base. For any glass pad, whether thick or thin, always hand it with care and do not put heavy objects on it for safety reasons. You see the great thing about this pad is that it includes dot skates that are made for glass use. The included dot skates feel alright, it's nothing to shout out about. They are UHMWPE 6.6mm dots, not exactly smooth but they provide a decent amount of control on this glass pad, which in my opinion is a safe experience for most people to get started with. Including dot skates is a brilliant idea because when you get your pad, you already have skates that you can use with it. And for the majority of people, it saves you the trouble of having to do research and purchase aftermarket skates. The grip from the base is excellent, it supports the entire bottom of the pad so there is no flex in the middle, keeps the experience consistent and for a glass pad this light, having a good grippy base is very important because you don't have as much weight on the top to hold it down. Now comfort wise, the surface is very smooth, it's what they describe as a refined tempered glass surface and damn right, the texture feels very fine against your skin. But like with any glass pad, if your arms get a little sweaty, sticking does happen and it gets in the way of your arm movement. So if sweating is something that you experience on your pad, don't worry it's only natural, I'd recommend using a gaming sleeve to help with that. For itch comfort, this pad is very thin so there isn't much thickness to create a rounded off itch on a design like this. So resting my arm on the edge feels very much like resting my arm against my desk. And now here's a quick sound test to give you a better idea of the texture and smoothness smoothness of the material.
In human environments, like with most pets, it's when your skin with sweat and humidity gets clingy to the surface and it gets in the way of your arm movement. And with this pet, it's really no different. With that in mind, I do recommend trying a gaming sleeve which Pausa does sell on the website. So how's the experience using this for gaming? Well, it's been really pleasant since the day I got it. Speed-wise, it feels moderate for me. I would say that if you're coming from a control pad or are new to glass pads, it will feel pretty fast for you. You don't get too much control but it doesn't feel like it's holding you back with your mouse movement. I feel that this offers a nice amount of speed with a bit of control and very smooth glides that gamers who play a variety of games can enjoy getting comfortable with. Also, the pad is very thin and you really should not have issues with sensor tracking here or at least I haven't from my experience. I like that the surface doesn't feel insanely fast because it's a lot easier to fine-tune the amount of speed or control by trying out many different skates. And it's been really nice having this pad because because the attention to detail, the layers, and the concept of an ultra-thin glass pad is interesting. And even though it's so thin, it doesn't look or feel cheap. You feel like you got a good quality gaming glass pad with this one. Now final thoughts and what I think of its value. This glass pad release from Pausa is very interesting to me. There are many new glass pad brands coming out of nowhere that sell for the design and there is nothing wrong with that. But if you're looking to use a glass pad developed by a true gaming brand for gaming, Pausa is one of the few brands I would recommend to check out. The Super Glide Glass Mousepad V2 is a very interesting glass pad release. Quality and finish are great and it does something new. The experience from its presentation to having it on your desk is very nicely done and for what you get for the price, it's really not bad at all. And I am pretty surprised that they didn't charge more for this glass pad. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any way, please leave a like and subscribe to support the channel and I guess I'll see you in the next one.